Hey guys, welcome to In Hippie's Kitchen. Um, the video this week is a salad in a jar, which is really great for meal prep. So I have four quart mason jars right here. And then instead of the regular uh, metal lids, I got these plastic lids off of Amazon. I'll put the link in the bio and they're just super handy. Um, I've got three different kinds of dressings just because I have them and you know, why not use them? And I really don't have much to work with in the salad. I usually, my salads are crazy. But um, this one turned out really well. And um, I just have a few things to put in there. Um, but one of my dressings, and most of the stuff I got from Trader Joe's, is this green goddess dressing. Um, it says avocados, green onions, lemon juice, basil, garlic. I love garlic. Oh, chives too? Oh, I didn't even know that. Um, this cilantro dressing is the jam. So some of us love cilantro, some of us hate it. I'm definitely using that. And then I have this vegan Caesar salad dressing because Caesar dressing usually has um, anchovies in it and egg. I have some vegan feta cheese here and um, also arugula, which I have growing in my garden. But when I bought this, my arugula wasn't popping yet. So um, that'll come soon. So I was just grabbing everything I could from the fridge. I actually forgot olives, which I put in at the end. Um, I'm really sad about that, but it's all good. So you just start out, you just put some dressing in the bottom. So we're going to start with wet. When you're making a salad in a jar, we're going to go wet stuff first um, so it doesn't soak through everything. And put as much dressing as you need. I definitely should have put more dressing in one of my jars because I went crazy with the arugula. Um, then on top of the wet, you're going to put hard stuff that's not going to get soggy from sitting in the dressing. So if you have chicken or something you want to put in your salad, that'll go well. The apples aren't too bad either. They last pretty good, like about a week in the jar like that. Um, I kind of just got all mixed up here at a certain point and started putting whatever in, but I would have put the olives down near the bottom because they wouldn't have gotten soggy. I would have put the beans before the cilantro here, but that's okay. Some more garlic because I love garlic. Carrot, shredded carrots. It's, if you buy the pre-chopped stuff in the stores, this makes this process so much easier. Now at this point, whatever um, leafy vegetable you're going to use, just shove that on into the jar. I um, only had arugula. I put a little paper towel on the top so it keeps any, this is the one I went crazy on, <laughs> This um, it keeps any moisture as it's sitting in the fridge from getting too soggy with your lettuce. So I found that very helpful. So now I'm done. I'm actually hungry. <laughs> I haven't eaten today, so I'm going to go ahead and show you what it looks like when you pour it. Now this is the jar I super packed full of arugula. This is a wide mouth jar, which are easy to pack. Um, usually you can just start shaking the sucker and everything will fall out. But because I just went crazy because I was trying to use up everything, I had to give it a little bit of help. And then it comes out. Um, it comes out pretty the more stuff you have this I definitely needed more dressing in here though because I put too much greenery but I made it work and this is where I was like oh man I forgot my olives so I went and grabbed those and I'm just gonna throw those in here and I put a little hemp seed on top too and hemp seed has you know good omegas and all that good stuff for you but put whatever you want in your salad mix and match just start with the wet first then put something firm on top of it, leave your leafy greens for last so that they don't get all soggy touching all the wet things. So wet, then hard. <laughs> we can remember that. And then um, put all the other things in between with your leafy greens last. Put a little, um, what's it called? <laughs> Paper towel on top and throw it in the fridge. I found that these last for about a good week. When I used to do this going into the office, we would make them and have one I would have one for lunch each day and this bowl is huge and this salad is huge so by the time I was done I was quite full I only had one little um, sad cucumber though um, <laughs> I would have had more cucumber in this and you can put um, spiralized zucchini or whatever you like bell peppers you know all that fun stuff even strawberries if you like fruit in your salad apples are great in salads they give it a nice crunch but this is it and once my camera decides to focus, that will be all. Thank you guys for tuning in. Please like, subscribe, comment. You know, tune in for the next one.